Hey crafty friends, I'm so glad you stopped by today. You're watching Cards TV and this is Mary and we're going to make a card for fall using one of my card sketches. This is Cards TV sketch number 45. You can find all the sketches over at my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. There are currently 56 sketches, I believe, and they're all free to download. So feel free to go on over and pick and choose if you want one, two, or all of them. Just right click on each one of the sketches and save it to where you save your photographs. And you can use Word or some other program where you print your photographs and you can size these to the actual size, four and a quarter by five and a half, print them out and trim them and keep them in a little album that's what I do, and then I can flip through when I need to uh, find one for a card if I can't come up with an idea and I want to use a sketch. It's really handy to do that. So, with that being said, <laughs> let's get on with today's card. Now, we look at the sketch. Our card is four and a quarter by five and a half. That is an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. And I just scored at four and a quarter and fold it so it becomes four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, our first mat, I've got some scraps here. We're doing some more beautiful budget card making today. I'm using things from my stash and I'm using scraps. So if I don't tell you where I found something, it came from my stash. And most of this, I don't know where I got it except out of my stash. I don't have any packaging or any labels. So, sorry guys. Just go through your stash though and see what you can find. Okay, this first beautiful mat is four inches by five and a quarter. I wanted to back it with some of this pretty green because it's got some green in here. And this green mat is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm gonna grab my glue get this attached to the front and that's looking beautiful already let's go ahead and get this attached next we have a mat that's three inches by four inches that goes across right here i've cut this out of this orange and white gingham and you know me it wouldn't be a mary card if it didn't have some gingham right love gingham. I wanted to back this with some more of that green, so I cut this piece at three and one eighth, and I left it at four inches because I don't want to add any to the ends, just the top and the bottom. So I'll get these two adhered together. That's going to go right there. Love that together. That looks so much like fall. I am loving this together, guys. Okay, now we have a border piece. It's an inch by five and a quarter, and this is a pretty green print. I don't know if you can make it out, but it has like little flowers in there. And we're gonna put that right over here to the side. And like I said, it's an inch by five and a quarter. It's gonna go there just like that. I'm loving these colors. Okay, I went through my stash and I found a couple of these Dollar Tree stickers. I still had a few and I think I want to use this one on this card because it's got all that orange and green. Even got a white pumpkin. That's so pretty. Now, it's only sticky on the back, but not real sticky, but it does have foam tape in between the layers. But I wanted something to sit these pumpkins on. So instead of using this three and a quarter by two and a quarter inch shape down here that I put for a sentiment, I decided to use something different. I took this piece of cream colored cardstock and this cute little die. I love this. This was in my stash. 
I'm sorry I can't tell you where it came from, but I wanted to put that there and then put my pumpkins on top so it looks like they're sitting on the sentiment. Let me give you the dimensions. This is approximately two and three quarters by one and three quarters. Just a really cute little shape. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my little pumpkins on here first and then glue the whole thing to the card. And because there's some foam tape between the layers of the pumpkins, I'm not gonna put any foam tape on the back. I'm just gonna glue it down flat. Now, let's see. In the picture, it's down below this, or the sketch, rather. Oh, I love that, that's so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and put some glue on the back. Now, let's get it on the front. I want to get it on here just right. Because once I push this down, it's not going anywhere. Because that is great glue. Oh, that's so pretty. Make sure I get it on there really well. That's going to need another little piece of foam tape under there. Didn't that turn out pretty, guys? I love that. I'm gonna grab my foam tape and put just a little piece under there to hold it down. It's deciding it wants to pop up. Do y'all like these patterns and colors together? I really do. Love fall. Okay, let's go ahead and take all of this foam tape off. And we'll just pop it under there. There we go. Oh, I love that. Now y'all know I had to add some of these beautiful glittery dots just to give it a little sparkle and shine. And I was asked the other day why I always use three. And the general rule is that uh, things in odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. But today I didn't use just three, I used five. Two up here and three down here. And I think it really adds so much to the card. Okay guys, let's make card number two. For card number two, we're gonna use sketch number two. And as always, we have all the dimensions on here. Now our first mat, on our four and a quarter by five and a half inch card was cut at four inches by five and a quarter inches. And it's this pretty brown. We're gonna go ahead and get that adhered to the front. And then you can see we have lots of different panels to go on here. So up here in the upper left, this pretty little paper has acorns all over it. And this is can't read that. <laughs> an inch and a half by an inch and three quarters. That's going right there. Then we have this pretty orange plaid. This is two and a quarter by one and three quarters. Down here, this mat is one and a half by three and a quarter. And another piece of these cute acorns. This is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. But like I said, you'll find all the dimensions on the sketch. I'm gonna grab my glue and get all these pieces adhered to the front of the card. And there are a lot of them, aren't there? <laughs> That's what I think makes this card so pretty. All the different pieces. I just love the look of the different patterns and different sizes on this card. I think that makes it so unique. Now, because of all these little acorns on here, 
I went looking through my stash for some acorns. I did find one little one. It's really cute, but I needed something to put my little acorn on. And I found this stitch die in my stash. So I grabbed some of this cute yellow and white tiny little gingham check and I put together two different uh, stamps from two different stamp sets. The top says, I love, and then we have fall. I stamped that with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I've got this on some foam tape, and I'm going to get that right there on the front of my card. And you can see I didn't go with a square. You can change the shape to anything you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and get this put down. right about here. I want to make sure I get it straight. I like that little stitching around there too. Now, I'm going to put my little acorn right down here. I've got it on some foam tape. Grab my tweezers. He's tiny. We'll put him right about there. And I wanted something else on here, like here and here. So in my stash, I found this little tiny leaf punch. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is a very old punch. I've had this for probably 25 years. So I punched out two leaves out of that same brown that I have for the back. And we're going to put these on here. Going to get one right there. Just a tiny little drop of glue is all I need. That's so cute. Bet if you guys looked around in your stash, you'd find some little punches too. And we're going to put the other one right there. Just use what you have, guys. And you can come up with some wonderful cards. Okay. Oh, I didn't give you the dimensions of this die. It is approximately two and a quarter by three and an eighth. So that completes card number two. I love that. It's so sweet with all those little acorns on there. So here are two fall cards for today using what I had in my stash. And I think that turned out so pretty. I love the colors. I just love fall. It's my favorite time of year. And I know a lot of y'all feel the same way. So check your stash, guys. And come on over and pick up some Cards TV sketches. These were from sketch number 45 and sketch number 2. And make some fall cards. And if you don't want them for fall, make them for Christmas, for birthdays, whatever occasion you have in mind. But I love the way these turned out. Thank you all so very much for coming by today. I hope y'all are having a great weekend. I know it's been hard for so many people. The devastation from Hurricane Helene is just unbelievable. It even came all the way up here into Kentucky. Now, we didn't have anything like Western North Carolina or Tennessee or Florida. We just lost power. We had lots of rain and lots of wind, but we're great. But I'm praying for all those who were affected by this hurricane 
they just, they need our prayers, y'all. There's so much devastation. So let's remember them in our prayers and pray that God will bring them comfort, healing, and just help them get back on their feet. And he will. God loves us all and he will take care of us. Just trust in him and he will be there and help us through everything we go through, even the most difficult times. Thanks again for coming by today, guys. And remember, I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.